This walk is centred around Cleve Common and you can't miss its wide open spaces and breathtaking views. The Cotswold Way Trail is a 102 mile long scenic route through the quiet Cotswold countryside. Walking the trail can take between 4 to 8 days depending on pace. Starting in Chipping Candom, the trail heads south, ending in the historic city of Bath. In this series of videos, we're highlighting 8 popular walking loops along the trail that can be completed in a few hours. This walk is known as Cleave Hill Ring. My name's Mike. And I'm Teresa, his better half. <laughs> Our starting point is from the Quarry Car Park, close to Cleve Golf Club. And before heading away from Cleve Column, we were invited to watch some golfers tee off. Being extremely popular with dog walkers, you may find yourself being greeted by some four-legged friends. Oh, hello. <laughs> For the first part of our trek, we're following the Cotswold Way Trail, which is very well marked. Walking along the border of Post Slip Hall, don't miss the spring fed well. Although we started in bright sunshine, we soon found good old English weather closing in on us. Until eventually we were in a typical English hailstorm but thankfully it didn't last very long. I love walking in spring, particularly passing fields with newly born lambs. The trail takes us straight through Post Slip Farm and while we both love farm animals, I'm not too fond of the inevitable farm smell. Crossing a small footbridge, you'll now enter Heartbreak Plantation. I'm not sure where the name originates, as I've not been able to find out much about the plantation. One thing's for sure, your experience through the plantation will depend on the time of year. We are aware of an abandoned car in the woods, but didn't want to go out of our way to find something obviously dumped by vandals. Or as James May would say, Yobbos. Also, just be aware, there is a steep climb out of the woods. Having left the Cotswold Way and passing the derelict Wantsley Farm, you'll be heading back to Cleve Common and for us, this is the real highlight of the walk. Hi there. Hello. Cleve Common is Gloucestershire's largest common, covering over a thousand acres. The common is populated by a large number of lawnmowers on four legs or Scottish black-faced sheep which are good for grazing over wide areas especially the slopes and shorter grass. Belted Galloway cattle 
tackle the taller and coarser grasslands. With the occasional horse rider, but the common popularity does lie with dog walkers. As we re-enter the common, we head for the prominent radio masts. And once past, we finally get to see the amazing views Cleve is famous for. On a good day, stretch to the Malverns and sometimes as far as the Black Mountains in Wales. Now normally we'd follow the trail, but on this occasion we were distracted by a fascinating tree in the distance. The Single Beach, also known as the Lone or Lonely Beach, is the highest tree in the Cotswolds at 317 metres. Having a fantastic 360 degree view, you can really appreciate the open aspects of the hilltop and its landscape. A memorial wall surrounds the tree, with plaques in memory of those who have been particularly fond of Cleve Common. Mesmerised in the views, we hadn't realised we'd passed the Iron Age fort we wanted to find. Once we'd found the hill fort, I wasn't surprised we missed it. Much of it has been destroyed through quarrying, and like most walkers, we just passed straight through it. As normal, there's a link to the detailed map in the description. This walk also has an optional shortcut, marked in yellow. Finally, there are refreshment options after the walk, and if you use the quarry car park, please remember it does close overnight. If you enjoyed this video, you'll be showing your support by liking or leaving a comment on the video. Or even better, you could subscribe to the channel. We'd both really appreciate that. Thanks for now, and we'll see you next time.